In 1964, the United States entered into the conflict in Vietnam in an attempt to prevent the spread of communism. Foreign policy, economic interests, national fears, and geopolitical strategies were also major factors for the invasion of Vietnam. During the war, U.S. and Communist Viet Cong and North Vietnamese Army forces stalked each other in the jungle. But they were not alone. Something was stalking them. What mysterious creature was witnessed by both sides and feared by the locals? Are these accounts credible? What similarities are there between this creature and other legends around the world? Hello, I'm Colin Heaton, former soldier, Marine Corps scout sniper, history professor, historian and book author, and we will answer these questions and other issues on this segment of Forgotten History. As long as man has had language, there have been stories, oral histories of time and of primate-like humanoids from every country on every continent. While North America has Bigfoot, or the Sasquatch, the Himalayan regions of India, Nepal, and Tibet have the Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman. Australia has the Yowie. And there is a similar creature in Southeast Asia. In the Kantum province of Vietnam, as well as Laos, Thailand, and Cambodia, there are many reports from locals and U.S. troops of a human-like ape hybrid creature. The locals called Ngoi Rung, or the forest people. In Cambodia, the mysterious creatures are called Tek Tek. It is said to live in the far northern parts of the national park. Frightening and bizarre creatures to behold with a healthy appetite for humans. All the reports from these respective countries and witnesses all follow a similar theme. Where the creature appears to be bipedal and covered in grayish red hair. Reports are that hideous roars are often heard at night, as hungry tech techs start biting their own flesh, or perhaps feeding upon unfortunate people. One story is that the tech tech could imitate human voices and then lure humans into being killed by calling out to people in the area. This story is very similar to the legend of the Rakshasa in India, a shape-shifting human-like demon that can appear as anyone a person would trust to bring it close enough to kill and devour the person. Or the Yen in China, like Australia's Yowie, the Orange Pendek in Indonesia, the Rikolaka, or a type of werewolf in Finland, all creatures steeped in myth and folklore. Sometimes science can explain those mysteries, but not always. Similar stories were told for centuries about the wild men of Borneo until science identified the orangutan as being the culprit. Could this creature just be a new species as yet uncategorized? The discovery of the mountain gorilla in Africa, which Europeans had heard of and believed was simply folklore, took place in the Virunga Mountains, and it was discovered on October 17, 1902 by German explorer Robert von Beringer. Even more recently, was the Batang Toru in Sumatra, a species of orangutan rediscovered in 1997. One eyewitness in the late 1960s claiming to have seen the beast known as the Mountain Man was Army Sergeant Gary Linderer, who is the publisher of Behind the Lines, a magazine that specializes in the history of U.S. military special operations. Linderer served in Vietnam with the long-range reconnaissance patrols of the 101st Airborne Division and was once on a six-man patrol with the unit in Vietnam. While moving through the thick jungle, he claimed to have looked into deep-set eyes on a prominent brow, five feet tall with long muscular arms. He stated that the creature walked upright with broad shoulders and a heavy torso. The others with him said that what he saw was a rock ape, but being familiar with the species, he was certain that this was not a rock ape. Another report came from Army Sergeant Thomas Jenkins, who reported that his platoon was attacked by these apes throwing stones at them. Even the Viet Cong and the NVA soldiers reported sightings of the reddish-brown, hair-covered Ngoi Rung, 
on a scale that forced the Communist Party Secretariat to order scientists to investigate. Many accounts exist of these reddish hair-covered primates standing between four to six feet tall living in the jungle. Some soldiers on both sides claimed to have killed a few of these creatures. In 1969, naturalist John McKinnon, who was well known for his discoveries of previously unknown mammal and exotic bird species in Asia, as well as in Vietnam, discovered similar odd footprints in Borneo's jungles, which the locals call Batatut, or Ujit. In 1974, one such investigator, Dr. Vo Ki, a naturalist, ornithologist, and environmental researcher from Hanoi, discovered a suspected Ngoi Rung footprint on the forest floor and made a plaster cast of it. The cast was wider than a human foot and too large to belong to any species of ape. While much of the evidence surrounding these, the existence of these apes is not scientifically proven, falling more into folklore, McKinnon believed that there was a strong possibility that a previously unknown ape species did in fact exist. The account of Ngoi Rung meeting American GIs in Vietnam was first published in Craig P.J. Jorgensen's Very Crazy GI, Strange But Two True Stories of the Vietnam War. Today these stories still exist, but many locals believed that the population of these creatures had been greatly reduced due to conflict and massive deforestation. Do they exist? Or are they just fictional creations or mythologies? Perhaps one way we will know, one way or the other. We hope you enjoyed this segment of Forgotten History. Please click like and subscribe for free. And please stay tuned and be engaged and informed. Send us comments if you have questions or even show ideas. And we will respond to all requests and comments as soon as we can. Thank you.